Hello, my cooking family. So glad everybody joined me today to watch this video. I'm going to show y'all my personal all-time favorite pie. It's so easy to make. Can you guess? <laughs> a lemon cheese pie. This pie is absolutely the easiest pie you'll ever put together in your life. For how great it tastes, you can't beat it. Mama made this pie for me when I was around nine or ten years old for the first time. I can still remember the first time I tried this pie. And anybody you make it for will always remember the first time they tried it after you made it. So y'all buckle up and hold on. I'm going to show you how to make this today on Country Bar Cooking with Marshall. Okay, now let me show you how easy this is. We got two lemons here. What you're gonna do is go to the sink and wash them real good. Wash them real good. We're gonna zest them first with a zester. We're gonna chop them in two. We're gonna squeeze the lemon juice in our container. Let's do that first. Let's go wash them. Okay, here I am, got them washed. Now let's go down here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is zest our lemons. And this right here is a zester. See this grater right here? This right here is a zester, the little bitty part. It gets the skin off without getting into the white part, which is better. Let's go ahead and zest two lemons. All right, this is my second lemon right here. I'm just gonna zest it about like that. I don't wanna get too much into that white. Uh, as you see, it gave me a good tablespoon of zest. Okay, now what we wanna do, just cut our lemons in two. Y'all, if you ain't got one of these right here, you need to pick you up one. You need one, I'm telling you. It's so good with these lemons. You open it up like this. Put the, you know, I always thought to start with, you put it in there like that, because it fits it like that, but you don't. You put it in right to opposite. Squeeze that juice into there. We're gonna squeeze the juice of the two lemons. Mm -mm. Boy, I tell you what, when you zest those lemons, you can really smell the lemon in the air. How many is ready for spring? It's around the corner. All right, we got our lemon squeezed. Let's put that aside. See that? You got your zest and your lemon juice in there. Okay, now we got two packs of Philadelphia cream cheese going in. All right, next we're going in with a 14 ounce can of Eagle brand milk going in. Get that goodness in there. You're not gonna believe how good this is. I am telling you, it's my all time favorite pie. Did you know we're almost done with this? All right, now check this out. We're going in with our lemon juice and lemon zest. Put it in there. Okay, now we're gonna mix it up. And by the way, I'm using Mama's mixer. This mixer right here is decades old. Make sure your cream cheese is room temperature. Let's mix this up good. Okay, I got a blooper for everybody. That old mixer I just told you about died halfway in the mix, so I had to use my Tupperware mixer. See, this thing don't only chop, it mixes too. I gave it about a good 10 pulls. Look at that. It's ready to go. Get the little paddle out. Get all that goodness off. All right, we got it all off. Ready to go. Now look how easy this is, everybody. You can use the pie crust of your choice. I usually use a graham cracker, but hey, I seen this pecan pie crust. I'm gonna go for it. You can't go wrong. Okay, now what we're gonna do is just get the pie crust, put it there, and put all this goodness in it. Y'all, it's that simple. Okay, now we got it all in there. We're just gonna smooth it over a little bit. Okay, now this goes in the refrigerator for at least a good hour or two would be better. Let's go in the refrigerator. Okay, now after it sits in the refrigerator for a couple of hours, what you're gonna do is get your favorite pie filling. Put it on top, mine's cherry or blueberry. If you can find a lucky leaf, get it. This stuff right here is full of fruit. So like I say, I'm gonna let this sit in the refrigerator for an hour or two is even better. Then I'm gonna put the cherry pie filling on top of it, spread it out, it's ready. So in about an hour or two, I'll come back, but I'll be outside showing you the rest of this because it's just too pretty to be in this kitchen. I'll see you then. Okay, everybody. It's been probably around, probably around five hours. This pie's been in the refrigerator. 
How many has ever had a life to happen? Hey, we had a good time today. I hope you had a great time with your family today. But hey, let's finish this pie. The pie is done. Only thing we're gonna do is to put the topping on it and talk about options about putting topping on. So come on in here and let me show you this. Okay, here's our pie. See it? Oh, it is so pretty. Let me go ahead and take the top off of it. I love this little pre-made pie crust, especially this pecan. Maybe one day we'll try to make that pecan pie crust on the show. I know we can do it, can't we? Okay, there it is, everybody. Look at that. Nice and firm. Now, like I told y'all before, Mama made this pie all my life, but she did do something different. Mama always just put one eight-ounce block of cream cheese in it to a whole can of Eagle Brand milk and, to, you know, probably around a third of a cup of lemon juice. And that was all good, but I'm going to tell you, I really think putting two of the eight-ounce cream cheese is better than one because that's a lot of Eagle Brand milk going in on just one eight-ounce bar of that cream cheese. And also, hers always stayed at like a pudding consistency. You know, it wasn't like we cut it and spooned it out like a pie. We really got spoons and just spooned it out. And you can do this pie like this right here, too. You ain't got to try to cut it, you know, in four or five pieces. Just get your spoon fork and just spoon what you want out you know this thing we ain't trying to make little pie pieces here and we're outside with the dogs and the birds and the neighbors today so if you're here on behind me that's them <laughs> right, but look we got options right here this pie right here everybody is absolutely fantastic as is you don't have to put no toppings on it but those that do get you a good premium topping i'm choosing cherry today so i'm gonna put it on let's see what it looks like Okay, we're just going to get the top all over it. I'm going to get this whole 21 ounce can of cherries on top of this 9 inch pie, and it's going to be so good. You're going to get cherry in every bite. All right, that's all of them. Set that aside. And y'all, that is it. Look at that. Let me tell you an option right here, everybody. You can have more than one kind of pie filling on top. Well, how's that, Marshall? By doing this. Don't put nothing on the pie now. Don't put nothing on it. And have options. Maybe a Maybe a cup of blueberry pie filling, a cup of strawberry, a cup of cherry, or your favorite. On the side, get your pie out, and then put your topping on top of it. Hey, it ain't got to be just a one cherry pie. Just thought I'd throw that out there because, you know, I love blueberry too, but these cherries are so beautiful in this Lucky Leaf brand, I'm telling you. There it is. All right, let's get a piece on the plate. Okay, let's cut into it. And like I say, y'all, you ain't trying to make no perfect little pie wedges with this pie. It's really mainly... Uh, serve yourself with a spoon. I'm going to show you what it does when you try to get it out like a piece of pie, though. Watch this. Let's go down in there. Bring it up. Look at that. It comes up per se, but look at that, everybody. How beautiful that is. That is some good stuff. So simple. So, and right there is where we took the pie out. So it did come out pretty good. It come out pretty good. But look at that, everybody. Oh, pardon my Applebee's plate. You'd be surprised what you can find at yard sales. I love going to yard sales. Anybody else? Comment below if you do. All right, let's taste test this. Okay, everybody that's been watching for a while, you know taste test is my favorite time, too. It always was Mama's favorite time. It's mine now. I've taken her legacy over. And, you know, there's something else I'm going to say. There's a lot of people that still don't even know Mama passed away, but Mama passed away March 31st, 2021. She passed away peacefully at her home March 31st, 2021. We all miss her. We ain't lost her, though, because we know where she's at. But thank you for all your kind comments about that. I'm here. I was just the cameraman to start with. I was going to be the cameraman from now on. I was going to show my face every once in a while, comment with her, keep her going, keep her laughing. But most of her laughing will be because I was making a face at her behind the camera. Or she was real nervous. If she got real nervous, she would just laugh it off and just go on with it. But yeah, I'm here to carry on her legacy. And like I say, this pie right here is the one that I grew up on, except I double my cream cheese in mine. I put two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. And I like Philadelphia cream cheese too, by the way, but any cream cheese will work. But I'll be honest with you, I don't think I've ever bought any other brand. And no, I'm not getting paid for that. I'm just saying it's real good stuff. But look, this is it. And we're fixing to taste it. I'm going to tell you, I know what it tastes like before I start. Let me also say this. You can add nuts to this. Just make it your own. This is the base. But I'm going to tell you, this right here, whew, I know I'm fixing to taste it, but y'all know it's going to be two thumbs up. And besides the taste test, 
I'm trying this pecan pie crust out, but at the same time, I've never seen that. That was new where I get my groceries, so there we go. You know how to do the mic drop? I would do the plate drop, but it'd bust everywhere. It's worthy of a plate drop, though. Y'all, that dessert is absolutely fantastic. It really is. I think it would be even better with nuts in it. The nut of your choice? What kind of nuts do you like? I think I like to put some pecans in it, maybe some walnuts. But everything's so expensive right now, and I'm telling you, those nuts are out of this world high right now. So just try this recipe right here, and then you'll know when you taste it what kind of nut or whatever other kind of thing you'd want to add to it. Make it your own. Did you know a recipe is just the foundation of a dish that you need to make your own? You know, any recipe, I don't care what kind it is, who made it, how long it's been out. It's just a foundation. You can go by the foundation or you can add to the foundation to your liking. Make it your family's new dish. Make it traditional. But again, I want to thank everybody today for watching on Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. Where spring's around the corner. God's beauty is everywhere. And Jesus is Lord. By the way, let me give you a little hint. I think this is the first time I've ever done this. The next video, especially get hot, springtime's coming. I've never showed this, but I'm going to show you how I make my absolutely fantastic lemonade. I bet you may not have ever made it like it. So stay tuned to that. That's coming up next. But thank you everybody for watching. Jesus is Lord.